once again you're watching PJ Collection Clothing and in this video I'll be showing us how to go about with our neck formula most of us we've been having issues when it comes to neck formula so I'll be showing us the formula I've been using and it works perfectly well remember in Quartina so we have different methods of approach so this is my own method of approach now to cut your neck I'll also explain for your round neck or pipe neck. now the width of any neck, the formula is neck value divided by 6 minus 0 0.3. The width is neck value divided by 6 minus 0 0.3. Then the, the depth, this is the depth, which is the width value plus 0 0.5. Take note, the width value plus. There is um, a formula behind this that it derived and ended up with this n divided by 6 minus 0. I don't want to bothers with that so now the next thing is for example you measure someone's neck 10 you measure someone's neck 10 now to get the width it is n divided by 6 my n stands for the neck so which is this 10 divided by 6 minus 0 0.3 will give you 1.3 1.3 inch take note 1.2 now if you if you followed up my previous class this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 is the same thing as 3 Three eighths of an inch. Take note: three eighths of an in three over eight. That is zero point three. So we'll come to that. Now, the depth is the width value plus zero point five, which is one point three plus zero point five. Will give you this. Take note. Let's take it now. This is the second example. Let's say you measure someone's neck sixteen. Now, to get the width of neck sixteen, it is sixteen divided by six minus zero point three. It will give you 2.3. Then the depth is the depth value is 2.3 plus 0 0.5, which is 2.8 inches. I'll show us that now. And I said note. When I said note, you will use the exact value for piping neckline for a piping neckline, collar neck, bishop collar. But for round neck, you will remove either half inch or one quarter inch for to use in your sewing. I'll explain this. I'll explain it now. Let's, let me quickly explain this on a piece of fabric. Now, for example, I measured a kid and the neck is 10. So the first thing we we'll always do is to mark a straight line. So we'll mark a straight line and we said this line represents the width line, right? Remember in cotton and sewing, there is no guesswork. We need to apply either the formula or the standard. Now, this is the width line. Now, remember we said the neck, for neck of 10, we said for the neck of 10, which is 1.3. So, to measure the width, this is 1.3. So, this is 1.3. Take notes. This is 1.3. How full in, right? Okay, this is 1.3. This is 1.3. The, the number, this line before the half, take note, the line before the half is 1.3. Remember, this is 1.5, right? This is 1.5. So, here is 1.3. Take note, this this particular one here is 1.3. This is 1.5. Now, so mark there. So, this is 1.3. Alright. Now, the depth, if you've done your mathematics, we said the depth, we said the depth of the neck 10, the depth is what? The width value plus 0 0.5, which is 1.3 plus 0 0.5 will give you 1.8. So now, I'll now mark the second line, which is you now move down like this. 1.8, this is 1.8. This is 1.8, take note. This is this one is 1.8, take note. This is 1.8. While this is 1.7, take note. This is 1.7, this is 1.8. So I'll mark at this line. So, this second line is a depth line. Okay, so this is 1.8. Now, you now make a curve from here. You now make your neck curve like this, as shown. You now make your neck curve for neck 10. Remember, the beauty, one beautiful thing about your senator neck is we don't want the singlet under or the t-shirt the person is putting on the show. Now, the shoulder of this person, now this, remember, this second line automatically lies the shoulder point. So, shoulder is 14. So, you now connect these two points. So we now connect these two points. All right. So this is my point of focus. So I'll quickly cut here. Then I'll show us to remember. I said we have different approach to this.
so I'll quickly my point of focus is just my so I'll quickly cut this now to cut the back now to cut the back you fold the fabric the, you fold the fabric again into two there are some fashion designers that do both the back and front together but my own I do them separately now I fold the back right now remember my point of focus is the neck so I'll cut this off I'll cut this off now you now move this down I'm moving this down by 3 or 2.5 for children either 3 or 2.5 so let's confirm this so now confirm this all right this is two okay i'm moving down by three all right now we now fold this on top we fold this on top of this so we now fold this on top for you to know if you're okay make sure it shouldn't exceed half inch on top of this so we fold this on top so good so next we now trace okay so we now trace from this point we now trace from this point take note on four so we now trace from this point then you now stop there then you now open this you now open this and you continue from this point here yeah you now continue from this point now the next thing you do now let's close this back we now do what is called confirmation to know if this neck is up to 10 so this is it remember it's on full so you now place your tape this way confirmation starting from this point here like this to know if we've gotten up to 10 like this like this like this do you understand so let's take it again you place your tape from this point here like this like this as you can see this is five one quarter as you can see five one quarter so we're very okay so this is exactly for neck 10 by the time you finish sewing it will give you a perfect neck for neck 10 right so the next example i'll be showing us is for neck 16 now let's move to neck 16 